The clock is ticking on Dave this morning. Our favorite wandering weatherman has just over 24 hours to go in our special series, Dave Price, No Way Home. He had 50 bucks in a backpack, and we challenged him to get all the way home in one week from Santa Monica, California. We've seen that he's been making slow but steady progress. Albuquerque on Monday, <laughs> uh, Denver on Tuesday, Omaha yesterday, and this morning, Minneapolis. Dave, how are you? How'd you get there? Well, I got here by uh, the grace of uh, the, the one upstairs, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know, Maggie and Harry and Russ, we all dream of that, that great road trip out on the highway, not knowing which way you're going to head, often taking the road less traveled. Well, all this week I've been trying to get back to you guys in New York, and I've traveled by every means available. But one thing that really helps you connect on a trip like this is the people you meet, the people you run into along the way, because it's through them that I've had the opportunity to really appreciate America. My trip so far has been incredible. I've met tons of great people. I've seen plenty of beautiful country, but the one thing I haven't had enough of is sleep. Maybe that's because I've had to bed down in not so comfortable places like in a Jeep. Good night. Or next to an outside hotel swimming pool. The fun continues. And the night before last, I was in a frat house cleaning their bathroom. I mean, how much sleep can you expect to get in a frat house? I should have gone to a sorority. So it's not surprising that I've started feeling thoroughly exhausted. I'm tired, I've driven like 700 miles, and I, I need to sleep. I picked up a car in Denver that I was being paid to drive and deliver to a car dealer all the way in Granger, Iowa. By the time I arrived, it would have taken a brass band to lift my spirits. Fortunately, that's exactly what I found waiting for me. I love this. The early show is big in Granger, Iowa. And the whole high school band and the cheerleading squad turned out to welcome me. I mean, where do you get this? This is, I mean, this is the fun of traveling America. Look at this. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. Is that your school bus over there? Yeah. Any way that can take me to Chicago? So the marching band came in, and uh, they were so nice to greet me. And they also then had this fundraiser for me. Um, I, I don't, uh, that's what they're calling it. And they gave me $12, and then after they had the fundraiser, they told me this is uh, in exchange for loading their band instruments onto a pickup. These should break on the way back, but uh, hopefully I'll be on my way out of town and no one will be able to charge me and I'll have my $12. The kids were great, the music terrific, but once the band left, I was again overwhelmed by fatigue. Sometimes there's... Honestly, I was feeling sorry for myself, and I had no idea how I was really going to get home. Then I met Sue Stropes, who offered me a ride. She said, unfortunately, she had plenty of time on her hands. They completely did away with the animal control unit. Due to budget cuts, Sue recently lost her job taking care of stray animals. It's the only thing I've done as an adult. Sorry. I I'm without a job and I'm almost 60, so the reality is that I probably won't um, have a, a good job any, again. I was going to take the overnight bus <laughs> to Minneapolis tonight. Why don't we go together instead? I got some cash and we'll go grab dinner. This is also what being on the road is about. Two strangers brought together because they need one another. Will I make it home tomorrow? You know what? I don't know. But either way, I'm okay with it. Dear woman, 
Sue Stropes was and what a gem of a person to run into like so many other people I've met across America this week. You guys, get choked nice up, lady. Dave. Yes, look at you. Aww. I'm telling you, know what? It's probably from being overtired, <laughs> but there's so many... I, I, there are so many nice people out there, you know, some of whom watch the show, others who have no idea who, who we are, and, and everyone's willing to get, lend a helping hand. And uh, it's, it's been such a surprising trip for me. Yeah. Um, and, and you guys know I travel all the time for yeah. the show. But we and often, think so often you... fly over the country, we right. don't just wander through right. it. Right, exactly. Yeah. Very different deal. Yeah. How are you going to get home, pal? I don't, I don't know at this point. I got to tell you, the head of CBS News just emailed me. Are you going to make it? Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, the, the bus and the train schedules don't mm -hmm. jive. It's mm -hmm. a 27-hour trip from here. The airline tickets are expensive. I don't know if I'm going to have enough of an opportunity to work to pay for that, wow. and then I got to get to the airport. Uh. I, I don't know. I got to rejig it, and hopefully people will tweet. Um, and we'll figure it out. And you know what? If I don't make it home tomorrow, so what? I'll make it home Monday. There you go. And if I don't All make right, it home buddy. Monday, right. so what? Russ Mitchell is there. Yeah. He can yeah. do my job Listen, forever, Listen, somebody right? suggested yeah. I come pick you up and bring you back. They miss you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll find out. We'll find out if we'll see Dave tomorrow. We'll check in with you wherever you happen to be. Great stuff all this all week. Right. Really good job out there. Thank all you, right. you guys. And Thanks you so can much. follow Dave's path on our special website, cbsnews.com slash no way home. It's changed him. It's nice. It is. It is. Yeah. Choked up Dave. Oh, no.